So uh, our hospital are commencing with a new mitral program uh, starting from the next year and the beginning of January. Therefore, I was looking for a really advanced training to be able to uh, accommodate all the challenges uh, within that transeptum function. Therefore, I applied for a PCR simulation based learning on advanced uh, transeptal puncture. Uh, puncture. And uh, I really got a really good feedback from the doctors and everyone involved there. And uh, when I come uh, now and starting a mitral program, and I believe that's going to be a really different experience now with all the uh, patients that we will have. So uh, I would really recommend uh, this course to my colleagues uh, who are starting their own programs and especially who want to achieve uh, really good knowledge about safe transeptal puncture. And I think this is where you get, you know, uh, immersed with different uh, simulators in this course. And I think uh, all the uh, participants will have at least uh, some basic knowledge when they finish the course, but I think many of them are coming back with a good feedback about this. And this is why I always recommend uh, for everyone and my colleagues who are starting the programs with the transeptal to go for this course because you get uh, a lot of experience uh, from really you know, world-known uh, cardiologists, interventional cardiologists that have been doing this procedure for many years. And they all, you know, they give you all the tips and tricks uh, and also they show you off uh, some complications that may occur to you even. And this is where you, you know, know what to do in your clinical scenario. And I think the simulation-based learning itself, it's really a really good opportunity to start not on your patients and maybe start with the simulations first. So this is, I think, the safest way to do. And, uh, you know, every time patient comes, you know, safety comes first for the patients. And I think this is a way forward to do it safely.